Hey guys, so tonight we're like checking out Affinity Designer, new program by Seraph. So I just wanted to do like a, a quick character design. This is something I created like a, a while ago. Um, his name is uh, Jelly Boy, and um, it was just a, a quick character. So like I'm kind of redoing him here in uh, Affinity. So Affinity is like a new kind of offering from Seraph. Uh, they will be they um, they had a package before that rival Adobe uh, designer. It's like you know basically like a you know replacement for Photoshop and uh, InDesign as well as uh, Illustrator. So what they did here was they combined the three packages into one, creating like three different wood spaces you create like custom wood spaces and whatnot but you know you have all the tools in one place that you know kind of gives you the power of photoshop illustrator and in design all in one but you know for this like small project i just wanted to you know see what it was like to create a character um using my like workflow and you know it, it was pretty well and um as an added bonus you know for this like little demo I uh, brought it into Moho after and um, what I did was give animate a bit of idle animation for him you know like um, the tools are pretty good I mean um, Photoshop I mean Illustrator sorry has like a you know it's still early in the game but I, I think you know definitely is a more refined vector you know editing and creation platform in my experience it, it could be you know because I've been using Adobe so long you know it's just like you know, right now it's like just muscle memory but you know it was a pretty like decent experience I mean I, I really liked it you know, uh, I don't think like I me <laughs> might move you know like if, if it, you know because the price point is pretty good but there is like some um, AI features that you have to pay for with the um, with Affinity here. But as you can see, you know I'm still like uh, trying to get the shapes right and stuff, making some adjustments from the original design. I thought like your know, legs should be kind of a cuter, kind of cooler overall shape, uh, kind of toothy colors too as well. Um, again, like it's like super familiar. I mean, like if you you know you use Adobe Photoshop, I mean Adobe InDesign. Um, or Photoshop or like any of the, the tools and you know you'd be right at home working with this uh, over here I kind of was having some trouble figuring out the um, anchor point scenario but uh, like I, I got it and I got it in the end and it was it was like very intuitive like <clears throat> I think for a package that is free and you know you're a designer who is like you know getting into the game this is like Amazing. I mean, yeah, you have like all of the, the tools you need to create professional artwork, and that is pretty much free. Yeah. So back at it, you know, just adjusting some colors and whatnot. So the workflow here is, uh, you know, like design the character in uh, a vector package and uh, import it, bring it into Moho and, and rig it up and get it going. Um, honestly, I, I think the Moho tools are like really, really well done. Um, if I had to do this again, I, I would just like you know, create it in Moho and not go through this added step. <laughs> but you know, for like mock-ups and stuff, you know, and um, just overall design. And I mean, I, I would sketch in you know, Procreate or even in Photoshop, and then I would like um, use this to. Uh, a vector tool to get the lines right and uh, clean up like any shape because I mean I don't know like for me it's just like having that level of control in uh, a vector program is is like something that really fits my style and, and workflow so it, it works for me again this is like a, a really kind of quick and heavy um, like preview uh, it's not very edited or scripted at all so 
please uh, bear with me. I hope you like you know it's it was of uh, some use to you and um, some benefit. Um, but if you want to like jump into Affinity, it's like again totally free. Just you know go to the Serif website and I'm um, sorry, <laughs> Canva. <laughs> you know because Canva bought them out like I don't know, I believe it was like a year ago or something. And um, yeah, and it's cool to see what they're doing here. Like make any program free. But again, they you know, just Google it and download it. I think it's worth it. So again, I just uh, right now we're renaming some of the layers and prepping it for export. Now Moho like accepts it, it can actually accept Photoshop files. Uh, that is one workflow. Um, to do your album in Photoshop, but here, yeah, like, uh, I'm opting for the SVG option. And to be quite honest, I, I just like chose the first option available in Affinity and you know, cross my fingers and I hope it worked. And fortunately, for the most part, it did. Um, so I'm here in Moho, I'm just gonna be project um, first. Uh, that's simply what you want to do, you want to make sure, like, you know, you have the uh, the canvas size, yes, but pretty sure everything like you know as you want it. Um, I wanted a square one and set my frame rate to 24 frames per second and brought it in. And it, it, it for the most part, it worked right. There was one issue I had, and those were with some of the line work that were in groups, right? But what I'm doing here is like I'm converting some of the layers, it came in as of like a group already, right? So you know, you could actually convert into a mass. So what I did was it made those like eyeballs confined to the um, the overall shape, the pupils um, within the eyeballs, and that's really helpful when you um, you know you want to confine a shape inside. It was like a clipping mask, really, right? Um, so that's one way to get it done. And right now I'm just like you know checking my layers, checking the um, the overall structure of the uh, import. Making sure I have everything going because in Moho you basically want to have everything in one folder, right? And in that folder you could have subfolders, you could have like the mask, you could have like a bunch of other things. And um, uh, yeah, so here I'm just like you know, setting it up. And back to the issue with the lines. So within the when I imported the groups, some of the SVGs, the lines didn't come in as strokes; they came in as paths, right? So, you know, any vector artist, you know, will tell you. I mean, you, I'm sure that if you have, you know, you, you told this already, um, and it's pretty messy to like, um, to clean up and stuff. So in the end, when, you know, I was just testing the rig and, and figuring out what's what, um, I picked up on it, right? And um, I just opted to remove these strokes altogether from everything, which, um, you know, this pretty much made it a bit more simpler for me. At the end, um, real quick, when you add your bones, you have to like you know, you know, it's just kind of like, my flow is just like you know, to bring down the strength a bit and make sure that it doesn't affect too much here. But it, it's kind of moot right now because um, at the end of it, like I kind of like use um, some rigging techniques, like binding the points of the artwork to the bones, or you know, binding like the vector directly to the bone by linking and stuff so i mean I, that's a step you know you don't really have to do but there are like so many different ways to, to get what you want and get that um you know the deformation from your your artwork and your characters in moho is like um again like this animation tool is like for the price price point is like excellent i think you know if you animator and you, you know you, you want to get into character animation this is an excellent tool to get you started it does do you know like facilitate frame by frame animation but the rigging stuff is like i think where it really shines it has a, like a lot a lot of tools i need tutorial on the moho website <clears throat> can i explain in the um the ins and out of the, the program uh, is well done I mean, once you like, you know, you jump on those tutorials and you, you figure out your bearings, you, you could be, you know, creating stuff in no time. So, right here, I'm just like, you know, again, everything oriented. Um, 
set up pro properly. Bones and um, making sure the deformations are like, you know, what I wanted to do. I mean, it's not hard. It's like, you know, within a few minutes, you could, you know, pretty get a, uh, a real decent result. <laughs> and uh, right about here, um, I'm figuring it out. <laughs> Uh, it's real quick, so like uh, there's no motion in the face, so like I just bind it all of the face elements to so just one bone, so it could, um, you know, when it moves, it'll, it'll just stick to that. <clears throat> we didn't get to animating yet. I'm just like testing it out and making sure that uh, the results are favorable. And you know, at the end of it, I think it was in the, in the animation came out pretty good pretty um you know serviceable <laughs> wasn't very polished or anything but you know like it, it, it worked out yeah so i've been using moho for like a, a while i mean I, I started using um toon boom when you know i, I had enough of Rigging and After Effects, because <laughs> Rigging and After Effects is like, although like it's a hard form by itself, you know, there are like limitations. And, and these tools like um, Toon Boom and, and Moho like makes it like uh, a lot easier. If you were to do this in, in After Effects, I mean, in just Rigging alone is like a few hours in my opinion, because I'm not really that good at it. I mean, I'm sure that people are good faster than me, but um, I think it was a uh, a lot more leg work and stuff getting it done. But regardless of what tool they use, I mean, rigging wise and well, animation is a different beast by itself. And you know, understanding the principles of animation and how things move and learning the, you know, to make believable motion is like a thing by itself. There are two different like disciplines, in my opinion, um, developing like good rigs and. Um, and then making those rings move in a believable fashion is like uh, two separate disciplines, but they do have like intersection. I mean, as an animator, you know what the movement you want, so you know what the rig should do. So, you know, do it like figuring out the both thing you, you can have, you know, the, <coughs> the best of two both worlds, <laughs> you know, like. But you know, like sometimes you know, you may want the brick to be perfect and you know, like do every single thing that you like under the, the sun. But in some instances, you don't need to. I mean, like it's nice to have things, but you know, you just have to like do what's right for the story and, and make sure like you capture the movements and stuff that you that you have to do. Right? And you, don't, you don't have to like have a full 360 rotation for a. a, a like a simple like walking animation, you could you could cheat a lot of these things, you know. And and this is one one, one little cheat here, <laughs> you know. There's one cool feature in Moho, like you know, you could and you see this in in 3D packages like Maya and Blender, you know, like you have blend shapes. When you bone um, bends, you, you could uh, affect the um, the artwork to conform and and bend the way you want it. That was one way of fixing this problem with the, the feet here, but you know, I just opted to add a couple more bones and just like, you know, a real quick and dirty fix. And, you know, it, it for the most part worked out. You know, the feet kind of stayed on the ground and uh, I got the overall result I was looking for. So, like, you know, I stuck with it. But that whole smart, um, <clears throat> smart bone setup in, in Moho is like, I don't know, well with it. it's weight in gold <laughs> you know so like that that's like one except reasons i think that, that the rigging system here is real special so right now i'm just figuring out the motion you know he's just doing a simple bob up and down something that you see in a game uh quick idle animation and now i'm like looking i'm figuring out the secondary action I want like, you know, when he's up, he's like, you know, have that like, you know, flip down and, and squash and stretch. Um, I, there could be more like things that you know, I could have done with this, but I mean, 
you know, for just to get something presentable. I mean, I, I think it's its purpose. I mean, I, like regularly, I, I would focus more on the um, the results of the animation. So you have the primary motion, which is you know, he's bobbing, but then you have to figure out like all the other body parts. And this is like one of the, the most cool things I'm more hold, that there is this um, thing that you know, like dynamic bones that you know will kind of help with that secondary motion and um, like you could cheat a lot of stuff with it and like you see the, like the hair shaking when, when you know he's moving too I, I think like and, and, and I didn't do anything that just like naturally you know all I do is click a few buttons and, and, and got it going I think you know that is a uh, another like very powerful thing with, with Moho and as, as for like a, a freelancer working out there and stuff working on small smaller projects I think it's fantastic but you know one of the key strengths with um Toon Boom is like the, the collaborative, um, sorry, Toon Boom Harmony is um, the collaborative features on how you could, you know, get big teams and, and get stuff done and there is like a, a new library and uh, is, you know, like, there's a lot of stuff that does in Toon Boom and that is actually in the industry standard right now. Um, <clears throat> Moho is like a more niche tool, um, but there are big studios like Cartoon Salon who um, did a few movies with them and, and they'll like really really good I, I enjoy them too. like some of my favorites um so like over here i can i i i, I kind of got it you know it's like looking squishy and that was the the, the goal to get something squishy <laughs> and moving and looking fun and he, he you know he, he kind of like he got there so this is like a just a a quick preview um, I'm gonna enable looping now so you can see looping each other and that's about it so yeah that's my process getting from point A to point B. Thanks for joining and until next time stay safe.